How's it going? I'm coming to you with another video about a subject that I think is pertinent to everyone. Um, the topic is the topic of fear. Um, I put a Facebook quote up a couple of days ago and it went like this. Never let your dreams become swallowed by fear. Very important because a lot of us have dreams and things that we know we should be doing, things that we know we we are extremely good at things that we've been blessed to do, but you know, oftentimes we we uh, bump into a lot of roadblocks. There are a lot of hurdles come up in our way, and we begin to second guess ourselves. We begin to question God. We begin thinking, Can I really do this? Is this something that I've really been called to do, or do I have the skills that I need to do this? Do I have the network that I need to achieve this great goal? And then we start to change and we go in another direction. Sometimes we all together stop what we're doing and try something that we think is safe. Or at other times, we we alter our dreams and our goals a little bit. And we try to add in a little insurance policy, something that will make us feel a little bit more safer. And I'm going to take a scripture um, out of the, the Bible. It says, um, for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that comes from Second Timothy verse 1 and 7. A couple of things that fear does. Fear paralyzes us. If you look at what's going on um, in the world today, in an economy, and not just in the United States, but globally, there is no movement. People are not spending money. People are not hiring. People are not starting businesses. People are paralyzed because they do not know what's coming. They're holding on to their money. They are they are just not doing anything. We're paralyzed because we are afraid. We're uncertain of what's to come. And and when you look at those actions, you raise the fact that, that God is in control of everything. So fear paralyzes. We have to be very careful to make sure that we don't buy into the media saying how bad things are. This many people are out of work. Because if we buy into this and and we accept it and we believe it, it begins to paralyze us. And once you're paralyzed, you can't move. And once you can't move, you can't go forward. So we have to make sure that we do not allow fear to paralyze us. Number two, fear makes us timid. Now, being timid and humble are two different things. We are encouraged to be humble. We are encouraged not to be high-minded. But to be timid means that you're currently you're always tipping around. You're afraid. You are not speaking up. You won't open your mouth. We have to make sure that, that going through this life that we do not let fear make us timid. Because when we're timid, we don't act upon things that we know we should be doing. We don't move forward as fast as we are because we're unsure. So we have to make sure that we do not let fear make us timid. Because being timid is not good and being timid can also turn others away from you because who wants to follow someone that is not unsure of themselves? Who wants to follow somebody that is afraid of them? Who wants to fight in the trenches with somebody that is not ready to go down for the cause? So we have to make sure that we are not timid and we do not let fear breed timidity, if that's the word, in us. And finally, Fear clouds our joy, our judgment, the choices that we make. You know, um, a couple of months ago, I decided to um, go back to school and go into this field that I thought was safe. And it was something that I said I did not want to do, um, did not want to spend the rest of my life doing. So I made a choice based on fear. So the choice that I made was not as clear as it should have been. And we now coming forward a couple of months later. I realize that what I've been blessed with, what the gift that God has given me, that is the that is the dream or the goal that I should have been pursuing as opposed to choosing what I thought was safe, I thought was easier, I thought would take care of me in the long run. So we have to make sure that we do not let fear cloud our our choices. Fear can stop us from achieving great things. Fear keeps people in um, domestic, domestic relationships that are abusive. Fear stops people from going out and pursuing goals that 
they think they can do well at. Fear stops us from picking up their phone and calling somebody who we fell out with for stupid reasons and apologizing and repairing the relationship. Fear is what stops us from investing in that stock or that bond that someone may told us would have been lucrative. Fear stops us from doing basically everything. So we need to lay fear in the grave where it belongs in order to move forward, especially in times like this. Because the people that are going to excel during these trying times are the people that have laid fear to bed. The people that have erased fear, you're going to have to learn how to be fearless in order to achieve our dreams, in order to do the things that God wants us to do. This is Antoine once again signing out. Follow me on Twitter, Belma Twan. Um, visit my webpage, www.mccarryimages.com. Subscribe to my newsletter. I got a lot of things coming, and I am going to work on erasing fear so that I may do what God has called me to do, which is to inspire, which is to help. So love, peace, and hair grease, and I'll talk to you guys later.